Well, we've got an early start today. I'm trying to get down to the shack before midday, so it's about a four hour drive. Just uh, getting some air in the tires, about to get some fuel and breakfast. Just stopping at my normal halfway point and uh, going to get to enjoy a lovely dawn. So I'll spend about, uh, I don't know, 10 15 minutes here and then we'll head back on the highway. Well, it's about 10 o'clock, so I made pretty good time getting here. I'm just stopping to um, uh, pick up a bit more kindling for the fire. It's going to be cold tonight. It's pretty cold now. Uh, nearly had a, an incident on the way in. The track had some wire, loose, loose, rusty wire on the road for some reason. So I had to, uh, had to avoid that quickly and get out and clear it. So now I'm uh, just going to get a bit more kindling for the fire and uh, make my way out to the shack will be another 20 minutes half an hour on on this road in but i'm not in any hurry it's going to be a cold day of probably staying inside so I'll be able to get that fire going just putting the kettle on to have a cup of coffee and i need to sort all my stuff and unpack it i decided to light a fire to make the place feel a little more homely but I was just checking out the mouse situation and yeah, I can see a lot of mouse droppings there. They've obviously been eating this um, wax candle. So I'll have to put a few traps and baits out. And I actually did see one scurry away as I even opened the door. So mice, we don't want inside. I'm just walking over to where I saw an eagle land over this ridge. I think he might be feasting on a dead kangaroo or maybe he's just taking off now. I just disturbed him. Well, it's a grey old day, but I'm going to head out down to the dam. Well, the rain's starting to come in, so I'm going to head back up to the shack, start the fire again, think about what's for dinner, and uh, yeah, plan my evening. But yeah, dam's pretty low still, and looks like the rain is settling in for this evening. morning it's Saturday morning I'm glad I got up here yesterday because it's just been raining all night as you can see the ground is super wet there's the wet track heading down to the creek and you can't even see the hills behind me it's just a oh yeah, you know, a little bit but so much rain overnight so much rain so 
And cold too. I'm I'm wearing this jumper that my wife knitted for me years ago. It's never been cold enough to wear it, but today it's cold enough. I gotta get a fire on and get some breakfast happening, but I'm not sure I'm gonna be doing much outside today. It's gonna be just too wet and perhaps slippery for even a four-wheel drive on some of these tracks. So uh, it might be a day for staying inside and doing a few few little jobs around here. So anyway, yeah, gotta get a fire on, get it warmed up, brush my teeth, get ready for the day, get a big breakfast on. Well, this morning I'm going to try a bit of an experiment, make hash browns. I had some leftover potatoes, so one egg, a bit of onion salt, and I'm going to have a fried egg and some baked beans, and I'm just going to fry it all up in the one pan. So uh, hopefully that'll be a good breakfast. Well, that was fantastic. I'm going to have to remember that. Simple hash browns in the morning. Now I'm going to probably sit by the fire and warm up a little. And then uh, we'll have to see what today brings. If it warms up, if it dries up. And then, uh, I don't know, see where we go. So, activities to do while... Well, uh, you're reined in. I rationalized my backpack. Yesterday, when I was doing some bush walking, I noticed my backpack was getting quite heavy, and I've put a lot of things in over over the weeks and months, but I've never really checked through, and I think I'm carrying a lot of extra stuff. So I'm going to uh, unpack it and see what I have, and then rationalize it somewhat. So this is a lot of stuff. I've got a lot of duplicates of things. Like, uh, I mean, how many, how many um, knife sharpeners do I need? How many uh, multi tools do I need? Spoons, too many. Tea. I don't drink tea. Uh, lots of ways. Matches. My other matches. Fire starters. Too many gloves and so on. So I'm going to rationalise all this stuff, repack my bag and it should be a lot lighter. So we're all packed now, and that's a lot lighter. So that'll make it easier to walk on the trails. Well, you might be asking for trouble, but I think I'm gonna head down the trail here and uh, see what I can see at the bottom of the creek. I mean, it's no use being stuck in a shack for a couple of days and this rain, and to get out and see what the See what the creek looks like. So uh, hopefully I'll be back by lunchtime.
Well, with all this rain, the creek's actually looking fuller than it was when I was last here in April and May. Still fairly lifeless looking though, nothing moving in it, but it does look a little clearer. So I'm going to uh, try my luck across the creek and walk up to the other bend and see what's up on that side as well. But this side looks pretty good this time. made it. I just walked up to my favorite spot at the fishing bend. There's my little campfire here. I think someone else might have used it recently because uh, I don't remember it cook I don't remember burning that large log. It looks like it's been emptied out from some of the coals recently. That's cool. Probably Gary, I think. Anyway, we need to see if there's anything in this water. Have a look around, walk up the bank a little, see what's happening. Meanwhile, I'm going to finish off the breakfast baked beans with my spork and uh, enjoy the peace and quiet of the bushland. There's certainly fish in this bend. Billabong, whatever you want to call it. They're all carp, of course, but they make a good fighting fish if you can get one on the hook. So I'm going to try in a little while, try my luck at fishing, see if there's any way I can actually catch one of these. There's a couple just taking their sweet time swimming around. Don't seem to be interested in anything I've got on the hook. Quite sizable. Just not getting any bites from them. Just strolling up the thin end of the, the Billabong area. And it really dries out up this end. So Later on I think I'll uh, cross here and uh, explore the other side up this way, see what I can see. Bit of a bushwalk after morning tea. Well unfortunately it looks like the rain is settling in a bit. I'm going to wait for half an hour or so, see how it goes. Luckily I bought my uh, large walking stick umbrella. And I might get over to the other side, I'm not sure yet. But um, the rain does seem to be coming in pretty hard. I'll give it half an hour, see how we go. Certainly the fish are not biting, no matter what I try. So we'll have to try maybe another day. Maybe it's the rain that's putting them off. Maybe they don't like my corn, I don't know. But in any case, we'll just wait half an hour and then uh, decide to stay or go. Well, this is the surprise sighting of the day. He's a long-necked tortoise. Turtle? Tortoise? He had his head out when I came up, but he pulled it in, trying to hide, because he sees me as a threat. I put some corn just in front to give him a treat, but 
he's worried about me. So uh, I'm going to leave him alone. But yeah, that's uh, the surprise sighting of the day. Made coming out here all worthwhile. Cool, I'll leave him alone. So as you can see, I did decide to explore the other side of the bank a bit more. But what gets me is, walking along the creek line, there are these huge debris wash-ups near these standing trees. And these must come from flooding. But we are a good five meters away from where the creek is and at least three, four meters up. So imagine the water that must come through this valley at times to create all of this debris catchment here on these trees. Just unbelievable. Just can't imagine how much water would rush through this little gully to cause this. Okay, a bit more exploring. I was just walking around looking at all the wombat burrows thinking why don't you see many dead wombats around or wombat skeletons you see kangaroos and everything but then I actually found one just found this wombat skull you can tell it's very flat and broad his front two front incisors the chopping teeth uh, have fallen out but yeah the skull is very wide and flat as you can tell I think I'll uh, take it up to the shack so that the kids can see it next time they come up. Well, this has turned out to be a much better trek from when I first started out this morning. Seen some fish, seen a long necked turtle, it's got a wombat skull to take up and leave for the kids to see, and explored this far side of the shore, which has been an unusual change. Normally it's too, too flooded to get across, but the water level is very low still. I'm just sheltering under this massive tree right now and I'm going to head back along and cross again and might try fishing a little bit more uh, I want to try and collect some more wood for the fire because I'm burning through it pretty good and see what else see what else the day leads to I found Mr. Longneck Turtle again on my walk back He's moving very slow in this cold weather, being a reptile. But his neck was slowly coming out. I thought he might be moving. There he goes. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.